Hello, in this video we're going to discuss advice to law enforcement agencies. Be aware, human experimentation, the black lab part one. So the black lab uh, targets university students, in fact, uh, all people in particular can be targeted by these individuals. And uh, their organization is quite vast. It's run by witches and Wiccans and involves the UK military intelligence. So uh, one angle that they use to lure people is through university students. They offered thousands of dollars to be drowned twice only. And uh, the victims are coerced and forced to go to the lab with which is in Wellington, and have this done to them. Victims are all drown raped and hypnotized daily, and the victims' families are forced into destitution, homelessness, and prostitution for Wiccans and Freemasons. Families are scattered worldwide and taken underground. Victims continue at university but are forced into prostitution and have to live in a destitute state. The, win the victims wind up subjects for UK military intelligence experiments, which includes telepathy, chemical, uh, chemical involves the injection or breathing in or uh, influence of a person's human body by chemical. They use all chemicals. And make new ones. Uh, other ones, torture, rape, animal rape, biological weapons and chemical weapons manufacture, tearing in the fabric of space, murder, hypnosis and genocide. So upon completion of university tuition, victims are taken to the lab and assigned to a specific department and the New Zealand SIS. That's New Zealand spy agency. The countries that don't have this going on are Israel and the United States. But in those cases, they would most likely send the victims to another country. When a specific, uh, when a scientific breakthrough is achieved, the head scientist of the New Zealand SIS UK military intelligence. This man's name is Richard, claims credit for it immediately upon the discovery being made. The victim receives no credit, only punishment. And is forced to work harder to make more breakthroughs. The following breakthroughs were made at the lab and destroyed. Decoding of the human genome. This led to breakthroughs including a cure for cancer, genetic body modification, and a cure for all diseases including AIDS. Telepathy is another one. Stolen technology. So these, these criminals have stolen technology as well. That includes uh, a battery that never goes flat and worked off water. Cloning. So cloning was discovered in the 80s and the technology and all the scientists were kidnapped along with their families and taken underground to uh, get cloning further uh, refined and more breakthroughs were made and that includes uh, cloning of humans. Tearing in the fabric of space uh, this technology, as mentioned in an earlier video, is capable of destroying the planet and the entire universe and is used worldwide. So you know with the sinkholes, uh, them using tearing holes in the fabric of space from the safety dimension in order to work out where they are in relation to this universe. Another sign is green flares from the sky, which fire straight downwards.
The families underground are forced into slavery, including digging tunnels and bunkers. In the 1970s, the UK military intelligence took over the New Zealand SIS and started the Black Lab. That is also when they stole technology involving tearing holes in the fabric of space. And with the UK military intelligence, they use drowning, and drown rape and hypnosis in order to control everyone. Okay, so that's how they managed to achieve taking over the New Zealand SIS and many other spy agencies worldwide. So just remember, uh, they also have with them Satan Actual, who is underground in a pod. That is another scientific uh, discovery that they made that involves uh, several technologies uh, which they discovered, which was discussed in another video. So we need to put a stop to this, and that's why this video is here. I'm the Archangel Daniel, and I'm from heaven.